Hi, right, my name is Mighty Beard, and we are back here on the Timecraft server, and we are in the Frozen Outlands in our village. Um, we have a task that we need to uh, wrap up today. Excuse me, sir. I am in the middle of a conversation. Thank you. So rude. Uh, but still, we have an issue that is taking place. So as you can see, we've got some beds that are lined up outside. Um, our villagers are not. Uh, are not finding uh, their houses for some reason. So they're not going to their beds uh, to sleep in the night. They are, uh, for whatever reason, um, just kind of like spread out along the walls. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just really odd. So what we want to do, um, what we want to do is we want to remove, uh, we want to remove some of these houses that are not optimal for beds. And um, we want to basically build a new structure. It'll be a, like a little community uh, commune uh, of, of sorts where uh, we can have room for, I think, I think we need room for about 16 different beds. Uh, but that way, uh, our villagers have a, have a central location that they can go to at night uh, to sleep. And then what we're also going to do... Um, much like this house, we're going to take down a few of the others and try to build some new structures uh, so that there is uh, definitely, like, purpose around here. So, um, uh, you know, take down this building, other buildings that, that are not really set up for uh, anything proper. Uh, build, like, a, you know, a single location for all of our, uh, all of our forge-related um, villagers, so our toolsmith, our worksmith, or no worksmith, uh, toolsmith, weaponsmith, uh, armor, and uh, tool, weapon, armor. Uh, I'm sure there's another one. I'm sure there's another one. I'm, I'm not thinking about. Uh, but that way, they have like a, a single building that they can go to and work during the day, and then come come back to you know meeting time in the morning and at night uh, right before bed, and then come to this uh, to this community building for all, all of the beds I think I think I think that would be that would be pleasant so that's what we want to uh, focus on right now so let's go ahead and get into build mode tear down some buildings and build up a new community commune All right, so we have ourselves a little bit of a commune, a little bit of a communal hall for these guys to uh, to sleep in, which is great. Uh, it took quite a bit of effort, but we were able, I think, to bring over all of the villagers uh, to sleep in here. 
Um, we we did we did have some some issues with with creepers though. Um, so yeah, there is now an issue with lighting. But now that we have all of our villagers in one place, we have uh, the opportunity to really start um, lighting this area, getting rid of guys like that. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, putting this space together. But the removal of those buildings just opened up this area uh, quite a bit. Now, I, I'm i debating because I love the igloos. I think the igloos add a nice touch. But I think we got to get rid of these two. And in the process, we might bring the wall in a little bit. That way, you know, I don't know. Because this lighting thing... Uh, I don't want to just litter the ground with torches. Um, however, however, as I say that, uh, we have ourselves a little bit of a pumpkin patch here. So if we if we can get all these pumpkins to grow, um, we will have uh, a nice supply of of jack o' lanterns. Um, so then you know the jack o' lanterns can go on the ground or go in the ground. We can cover that up with. Uh, um, you know, leaves or something as, as we go. But we definitely want to make sure this entire place is lit up. Uh, that way, we do not get the problems with, uh, with zombies. Uh, because they are very, very rampant in here. But in the meantime, I ran out of supplies. I ran out of cobble. So we are going to go into the mines and uh, we're going to dig a little bit. And see if we can come up with uh, some more cobble, uh, more andesite, other other stuff like that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll come back up and um, talk about what's what's going to happen next here. All right, we are down in the mine. And as you can see, we haven't really been down here for too long. But man, this thing, this place is completely huge huge i mean there is this just goes on forever but in this chest i found these things uh amethyst gems well as well as not gentle but uh the the, the gems has me intrigued I, I don't think i've seen that before i i can't imagine uh i can't imagine that is something needed for the time machine, but it's it's possible. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to it, um, and 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 talk with Casual Mimic and see uh, and see what he thinks. If if that if that would help, that would definitely uh, that would definitely be very useful for us to uh, to do. But um, yeah, again this. This mine shaft just goes on, on, forever. Uh, here's another chest. Awesome. More aquamarine gem. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have ourselves a spider spawner. This is just in time. Uh, we have needed spider eyes for a while. So let me, uh, let me take the cords and get a screenshot of that because... Uh, we could definitely use that, and that seems to go on a long time, but I don't see another sp spider spawner on the other side. Uh, but that's going to be super, super helpful. And we have ourselves a second spider spawner. This is a bit further out, but man, uh, this place is just loaded. Okay, so this is like legit. The spider spawner we were just looking at. I traveled down this hallway. And we have a zombie spawner. I mean, super, super close. And I'm hearing more zombies elsewhere. So, uh, yeah, again, just fantastic. Um, to have a double... Uh, double spawner would be super helpful, I think, uh, at least for us, us moving forward, uh, early game at least. Uh, but that's great. That's great. Let's, let's continue to explore. All right. So we have found a ravine and another chest. And in this chest, 
topaz gems. This this has to be something, something that we could use in the time machine. Well, I have some bad news. Um, I died. And <laughs> I don't exactly know where I was. I think I took a screenshot of the last place that I was, the last spawner, and it was relatively close to that. But we found another spider spawner uh, roughly 20, 25 blocks away. Uh, just happenstance. But regardless, uh, my bed is obstructed, so I guess we're in spawn now. Um, so while we're here, my chunks are unloaded, so my gear should still be there if I decide I want to go back to it, and I should. But let's go ahead and explore, because we really haven't had a chance to really check out some of the new stores. So uh, there's the mine cart. It is closed until... Future notice. Okay, what do we got? What do we got here? This is uh, that is moving to the auction. We've got ooh a new. This is a new build. This looks interesting. Uh, coal five stacks for a diamond. Okay, all right. And then what do we got over here? A little, little map of spawn. Uh, that's pretty solid. This looks like it could be a store, but there's no sign, so, eh. I'm sure it's something, though. And this is a neat looking build. M. Uh, must, must be a Mimicorp shop. Uh, welcome to Mimicrates. Builds made easy. Individual sales upstairs, but buy a Mimicrate and save. We take custom orders. Uh, so a dirt crate, 13 diamonds. Um, oh, you know what? Uh, yeah, I did read in the, in the Discord. We've got uh, shulkers. So these are shulkers full of items. So we've got a shulker full of dirt for 13 diamonds. Uh, stone for 15 diamonds. That's not bad. Upstairs, granite diorite, andesite, employees only. Employees only. So let's uh, let's head up here. Oh, this is uh, this is super cool. So four stacks for a diamond, four stacks of dirt. Ah, uh, this is pleasant. Uh, mimic crate, individual sales. There's nothing in there though. Uh, press the purchase. Oh, so uh, more more of the crates. Uh, this is excellent. This is uh, this is excellent, and I believe this is a tree shop. Uh, free sticks. Don't mind if I do. I need something. Oak wood to two stacks for a diamond. Uh, this looks empty. We got birch wood. He does not return. Okay. Uh, the Alchemax. All right. So potions, potions. Uh, six potions for a diamond. That's not. That's not a bad deal at all. Uh, golden apples. Three for a diamond. That is. That is good to know. We might. Uh, we we might have to come back for that. Was there a? Is there a potion of weakness? Splash potion of weakness. Oh, sold out. Anything here? Three pots for diamond. Okay. All right. All right. The kelp shop. Power from the ocean. Two stacks for a diamond. Great. Okay. Well, nighttime is coming. Thus, uh, it is probably a good time for us to uh, get some sleep. Uh, but because we lost everything, <laughs> potentially... Uh, this is where we're going to end it. We're going to end it here, um, but we've, we're have we going to have to re-get the supplies that we that we lost unless we can find it somehow, but I doubt it. But, uh, but yeah, 
we we have we're at a good spot at home now we just need to uh, continue building and we need to start producing librarians that is the goal so my name is a mighty beard we will play timecraft together again very soon later <laughs>